Tower run, uh, my best time for 40 floors, standard 40 tingkat, 3 minit 39 saat. Okay, untuk saya pula, 4 minit 5 saat. The challenge will be, how long can you sustain a certain speed for a long period of time? The best is to sustain all the way and you push the last 5 floor. My challenge, of course, you compete with yourself. In Taiwan, we start individually, so we don't know what others time. You need to like give your best every round. The last round, I push like all out. Thinking back, all the hard work that I've put in in the stairs, every day put in at least two to three hours. My preparation, the support from all the Malaysians, my sponsors. That's how I keep going to really give my best on every tower run. We never know that the management change. They might not have this competition in that building next year. So whenever I have a chance to take part in this competition, I'll do my best and fight until the end. To overcome the mental challenge, I like to count the floors. I like to count the step also. EJ Tower has a step number, so I count like, okay, when it ends, so I can like push myself and then pace myself up until like halfway and push myself up. I was a runner before, full time, being a student athlete. I did up to 120 km per week just to train for a 5k, 10k run. Back then, when it comes to road running uphill, I'm actually slowing down. After transition myself to tower run, when it comes to all the hills, we can tackle up easily. We are able to last longer, maintaining a certain pace. Tower run strengthen our legs, so we won't easy to get injured when we go back to running. I'm also a trail runner. It also helps me to tackle the hills, hills up and down. So for me, it's easier to break down the hills. I can overcome the hills easily. Lah. Number one misconception about tower run is when you do a lot of stairs, you hurt your knee, you hurt your ankle, you hurt your back. It's not true. Tower run, we run up only, we don't run down the stairs. People thought we run up and down, so it is wrong. Another thing, we do it individually, we don't do it together. So it is very safe in a way we have 10-20 seconds between each of us. And we control the number in the stairs, so it won't be traffic jam. We go upwards with against gravity. So the impact is very least and minimal compared to any other sport. The misconception of Taiwanese, they said Taiwanese is hard, but it's not. You must try first. I have a friend, no background for Taiwanese at all. They said like, oh no, so hard. Eh? After a while, he addicted to it. Many people thought that it's impossible at start. They thought like 50 floor, you crazy. You ask me to climb, that's like forever. You're gonna tell me the next day. For your information, KL Tower, 1,506 steps. The slowest runner, I went and checked the result. One hour, 10 minutes. MBPJ Tower here, every Saturday we have our training session from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. So this is the best place to train when you have a group of people to climb together to motivate each other. Most of the tower runners, their dream is to climb the highest, the tallest building in the world, which is the Burj Khalifa. That is my checklist. I hope one day I'll have a chance to climb it. Hopefully also the Tokyo Sky Tree. That is the tallest tower. For me, a very easy answer. Merdeka 118. Soon, 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 yeah, soon. soon. Mereka 118. Yeah, that's our Malaysia tallest building. Thank you.